to me, Sorrell, he seems like a guy, Phil Locke, who you look at the chip counts here. Um, Dale, because of the big bluff. <laughs> Up to 395 and Tabata Tobias short stack. But Phil seems like one of those guys who there were several years, maybe five years ago, when people almost considered him not a joke, but that he was entertainment and wasn't really a good poker player. But the last couple of years, or maybe the last year or two in particular, Phil's game has really, you know, come to a high level. Well, he's definitely been pulling some some big results lately. Like last year, he, he was runner up in this, and uh, he also won a big tournament. I can't remember exactly what it was, but wow, this is a big this is a sick hand. hand. This this looks like it's going to be a setup. I think there might see some blood here. No, I mean uh, Phillips opened up with the kings under the gun. Tabat Tabai's flat called with the tens, and and Locke has smooth called behind him with the queens. I guess nobody's going to be reopening the action unless Huck decides to get a little frisky with his 5-8. Well, they're getting frisky now. Seat out flops all the pairs a straight. This is insane. And the last thing that Philip Grusom wants to see when you raise with Kings is four-way action and a coordinated board. He looks pretty sick. He's checked, Huck's checked, and Tabat Tabai, the worst hand bets. And how about Phil Locke? Look at that. I never connect. That's the problem. 6,000 he's lost in this hand. He should be walking away from the table right now. Shattered wrist, dislocated elbow, 42 stitches in the eye. Severed by genital nerve. I can't really feel my nose. It's going to grow back. Did you ask Jennifer to do the washing up or that? And, uh, the when is Huck going to make this pay? Well, Grissom's called as well. Tabat Tabai's actually drawing the best here. Grissom's in terrible shape. This is a really uh, dangerous board for an overpair. So I can't imagine Grissom or Tabby taking the lead anymore in this pot. Um, it's, it's a very dangerous and scary board for these, these overpairs. So. Uh, maybe Tabby will fire again, but I don't think I don't think Grusom is gonna give much more action with a with a bet and a call here. Right, Grusom's checked the flop. Now he's checked the check called the flop. Now he's checked the turn. Um, I mean, this is a weird one. Huxley just checked checked the turn, right? Yeah. Wow, that's very interesting. I would I would have preferred to lead out on the turn there, but. Um, you think Huck is in serious danger of not having max value here? Definitely. I would have I would have loved the lead on the turn here. It looks like he's just going to get that one street of value from... Uh, I do believe Gruesome's going to call here. And then that kind of puts Tabby in a, in a tough spot. Um, uh, and, like, I mean, just from Huck's point of view, like, okay, there was no flush draws out of there, but the way the action went on the flop looked like a like there was a flush draw out there a lot of the times, and to give him a free card like that, that's a mistake, right? I, I do think so. I, I don't think Grusom's going to fold here. I mean, Huck could easily be value betting ace nine, uh, even, like, a week or nine, so I, I doubt very much that Grusom's going to fold. And once Grusom does call, I think Tabby's put in a tough spot. Grusom's actually played this hand. I kind of he's, he's he's played it really well, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. Kings never got never got too excited about him. Wow! That's an amazing lay down by Grusom. He's lost. I've, <laughs> he's lost nothing. I think Tabby's calling here now. Now that uh, Grusom folded, but that was an incredible lay down. I by can Grissom. just hear Sorrell screaming in the commentary box right now. <laughs> this is for you, Sorrell. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no. Congratulations, Huggy. That was an amazing lay down.